Hello, this is Bill, K38ZP, and I would discuss, like to discuss with you today about the timing of the amplifier transmit receive relay, or TR relay. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the input to your transceiver, which is your key or your um, uh, paddle input. Let's, talk, let's call it the key input. And we're going to relate to that uh, the, key, uh, the amplifier key output. Uh, which uh, I call the amplifier key signal from the transceiver. That normally occurs about a half milliseconds after you uh, key the transmitter. And then the um, amplifier then is, uh, the TR relay is ready for transmit operation in about 13 to 17 milliseconds after that time. In the meantime, your key input the transceiver also initiates your um, uh, RF, which typically comes about 10 milliseconds after the key input, and it generates either a dot or dash. Now, the, the problem that occurs is because the RF coming out of the transceiver is coming out before the uh, TR relay in the amplifier has settled, so what happens is the first part of your uh, output of your transceiver is uh, clipped by your uh, amplifier and also the uh, TR relay hot switches hot switches in this area which is very hard on the contacts so you get two problems uh, because of this uh, slow TR relay and amplifier you get hot switching and you lose part of your um, your first dit or daw of your transmission on the previous view graph we saw the problem created if you have a slow uh, amplifier TR relay. Now we're going to look what the QSK2500 does to alleviate the situation. The big difference now is your key or paddle input now goes into the QSK2500, not into the transceiver. The, um, the, the 2500 immediately keys the um, RF amplifier. So there's only like about a half millisecond delay. In the meantime, the key data input to the transceiver is now delayed by 10 milliseconds. So, so everything in the transceiver is 10, 10 milliseconds delayed. Now we see that the amplifier is starting to switch into the transmit mode. Still takes 13 to 17 milliseconds as we showed previously. But it started at the time the input came into the QST2500 and not the time the signal arrived at the transceiver. So now we see that the um, transceiver produces the RF output 10 milliseconds from its input. However, this RF output is now after the, the amplifier TR relay is already settled. So now we have about 3 to 7 milliseconds of uh, buffer time from when the amplifier TR relay is settled to when the RF from the transceiver comes to the amplifier. So there's no um, uh, shortening of the first dit or DAW. There's no hot switching of the QSK2500 uh, TR relay. So hope this clears up uh, some of the uh, questions you may have about using an external QSK box and uh, feel comfortable that um, it will take good care of your amplifier. Uh, hi, as an addendum to the previous presentation, I wanted to share with you, sometimes I, I've collected for uh, the delay of the RF out of the transceiver from the key input. Um, the example used in the presentation was 10 milliseconds, which is uh, typical of the Kenwood TS-480, uh, 590, 590SG, and the TS-2000. The uh, fastest one I found is the one that I have, which is the ICOM 735. It actually only delays 5.5 uh, milliseconds. So um, with the default uh, setting of 10 milliseconds in the um, uh, KSK-2500, um, I have, uh, in, in, in the worst case here, 50 and a half milliseconds, which turns out to be fast enough for my SB220 amplifier. The, um, uh, the 10 milliseconds here uh, with the, um, uh, the Kenwood series here 
plus the 10 milliseconds of the 2500 gives you 20 milliseconds for the amplifier TR relay, which is um, more than enough for any that I'm aware of. But um, as you can see, you could go up as high as 16 milliseconds added to the 10. You could go as high as 26 milliseconds, but that does not appear to be necessary. On the other hand, you have the Elecraft, Elecraft K3, which has 8 milliseconds minimum, but you could increase it here. And let's say you only need it, let's say you can go up uh, another 4 milliseconds or so. Then... Your, your total time would be uh, around 22 milliseconds, which might be more than you need. In that case, you could reduce this time from 10 to 8 milliseconds then, and uh, if, if you wanted to, it wouldn't be necessary. So these are the kind of numbers you have available. Um, this number can be adjusted with uh, from 3 to 16 milliseconds using jumpers inside the QSK 2500. Uh, as far as I know, these, these numbers are as accurate as I can find. Uh, the only two that I can verify is the TS590SG and ICOM735. The others, I uh, found many of them in QST review articles. Thank you, and good CW and good QSK.